my dear CEOs and fellow hamsters. I'm back with mindset hacks, financial freedom wisdom, and tips to know if you're doing well, even when your wallet feels lighter than my cage after snack time. First off, here is how to change your life in just six months with silence. Let's see how we can level up without making too much noise. What would you do to transform someone's life in six months so yeah. they feel like they actually are seeing change? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, first off, that's like probably the best question because that's the majority of the mindset mentors, like steps of all of this, just different podcasts where I'm like, okay, when I when I wrote the book that I, that I just got out last year, I was like, what do I do? Like, if I look at 1400 episodes of the Mindset Mentor podcast, like what is it that I do? And it's more than anything else, it's how to understand yourself so you can take action. I think the first thing that that that's probably the most important is like what feels right. I personally believe just from, you know, I'm not religious in any sort of way, but I believe that God, the universe, life speaks in silence. So the more silence I can have, the more clear I can be on what I'm supposed to do. Mm. And so whenever I've been in silence and I get a feeling, I trust that feeling like really deeply and I'm I'm okay going into whatever darkness that might be in front of me and not knowing the path. So I think the feeling's the first thing. Interesting. Oh, so all I have to do to figure out life is shut up. Well, not sure if this hamster can stay quiet for that long unless there's a snack involved. And trust my feelings, man, I did that once and ended up stuck in the corner of my cage for an hour. But hey, that's on me. Let's talk about financial freedom. Our speaker's got a simple yet powerful message. If you want more money, you've got to do just one thing. I'm ready to get rich and buy all the treats in the store, so let's roll. If someone's watching and listening right now and they're saying, you know what, I really want to generate more financial freedom for my life. Mm -hmm. And if you could give them one piece of advice on creating financial freedom from your perspective, what would that be? Create more value for other people. People don't understand that. You get money by creating value for others, and then they trade with you. One of the challenges in business I'm always putting to my team is like asking this question again and again and again and again. How do we create more value? Fine, I'll give it a shot. How about this? I'll trade you a good squeak for some extra treats. Deal? But in all seriousness, this makes sense. If you want that piece of financial sweet, you got to focus on how you're helping others. Time to brainstorm, guys. How can a hamster help the world? Share your ideas in the comments. I need your help, fellow hamsters. Now here's one for anyone stressing about their finances. There are two signs you're doing much better than you think. Even if you don't have a yacht parked in the driveway. Spoiler, it's not about what you own. Show me your money wisdom, Nisha. Two signs that you're doing well financially, even if it doesn't feel like it. Coming from a qualified accountant and a former investment banker. Number one, you're focused on the wealth gain. Society often measures success by the status gain, the size of your house, the brand of your car, the label on your clothes. But 40% of people don't have enough money put away to support themselves for one month in the absence of work. So if they lose their job one month later, they're insolvent. If you're looking at someone else feeling behind financially because you don't own the same things that they do, remember wealth is measured by the things you don't see rather than the things you do. Number two, comparing against the wrong people. Studies show that someone whose close associates earn 50,000 a year is going to feel bad about their own finances if they themselves earn 40,000. But that same person will feel good about their finances if their friends made not 50,000, but 30,000 a year. The the issue here is that this is a never ending cycle. There will always be someone making more than you. So remember, finances is a personal journey, not a race against others. So success isn't about big shiny toys? And here I was thinking I needed a bigger cage to impress the gerbils next door. Remember, finance is not about who's got the biggest stash of seeds, but who's using it wisely. For more wisdom, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. And remember, hamsters are power. One for all and all for one. Bye.